and we are the Leading Langfords. So I'm doing this voiceover to talk about the Miel products and this is just my opinion. I have used the products that you see. Yeah, I think they're just, I think they're good products. I know the controversy of what's going on right now with the company, but I also know that this line and with it being black owned and it uh, being a part of a multi-billion dollar business, P&G, which is a huge monumental deal. I think a lot of speculation is just suspect. That's my humble opinion. I think it's a phenomenal product. Um, I am faithful to just a few. Shea Moisture being one of the first products that I used. And then they went through their whole debacle when it kind of went mainstream and our Caucasian sisters started using it. Uh, apparently the formula changed. I could tell when it changed probably around 2011 or 12 if I remember correctly but I liked their products of course there wasn't that much products out there Miel products um, I saw and I was immediately intrigued to me they were a bit on the higher side but I of course was hooked on Shea I'm sorry on it's from Natural 85, I cannot believe, I've, melanin hair care products, which are phenomenal. The gents and ladies in the family use that product throughout the house because it's like a nice unisex minty smell. And I mean, it's just phenomenal. You can use it on wet hair, dry hair, detangle. I mean, my hair could be a matted, just tangled mess. And I get that product on my hair, the leave-in conditioner, and it's like milk. I have also used her elongated. That's what I used at first. And of course the shampoo, but that's not what this video is about. It's about Miel. I always wanted to use Miel, but they were, like I said, a bit on the more expensive side. But the first product I used was the product here this is a leave-in conditioner smells glorious oh my gosh like you just want to eat it it smells so good um it's like a fruity perfumed smell it smells so so very good i liked it to me it didn't dry out my hair but i know that i could be a bit on the heavy side the first time I used it was when we were actually on our way to New York um, on a road trip and I just washed my hair and this is when I was finished. My hair felt extremely moisturized. Um, I had no problem. I did use the Miel after using the Melanin Hair Care to detangle because my hair was freshly washed. I just took my time and used a tangle teaser to detangle and then I used the melanin with the Miel products. So again, I did use this one right here. This is the leave-in conditioner, the pomegranate, and I believe honey. This is me with my hair up later that night. Now I stuck with the Miel pomegranate leave-in conditioner for quite a while there's nine of us in the family but the girls you know myself and my three daughters we use this often whenever I did their hair I would reach for the leave-in conditioner because it smelled so good and to me it was moisturizing of course I make my own hair oils so I would pair it with that now as time went on, I went ahead and got the Miel hair gel edge control, which is right here. 
I was trying to stay away from using the wet line gel, but I didn't like using it on my edges because I found that because I'm constantly having babies and nursing, that area is very sensitive and I didn't want to put something that was alcohol based. Now, to be honest, I have no idea if Miel products have alcohol in them. I'm sure it does. I don't know. I'm just going to assume. And yes, I should have educated myself before doing this video, but it did not irritate my scalp at all or the edges part. I did not find any hair loss due to the products. Again, I just want to keep in mind for transparency purposes, I, there was a time period that I did lose edges, but that was not due to Miel or any other product. What that was due to was hormonal uh, changes that occur that I never experienced um, except for once or twice uh, during my, you know, almost two decades of having children. Now, this picture here, I now start using the Miel products. I wanted to show this specific picture because this picture is where I used the edge control that I pointed out in the previous picture. It laid down just as well as the wet line gel. Um, you know, I really liked the product and that of course is my natural hair so i was thoroughly pleased not only did it smell good it moisturized and i forked out to get the entire line maybe a few years later i am not a natural that switches products often i am pretty much loyal <laughs> i guess that's just my personality type and I'm loyal to a few because of it just makes sense financially. And if I find something that I like, I continue to use it. Melanin Hair Care and Miel Products and Shea Moisture are the three that I do use. For the purpose of this video, of course, this is for educational purposes only. I am not a specialized I'm not specialized in hair care products or the natural hair care movement, but I have been natural for 18 years. And uh, I went natural at first. My senior year in college, which this is 2002, 2003. And this is my hair here. Of course, this is it at the roots you can tell it's a little lifted i did not end up doing the big chop actually i went natural for a year and then i started to work because i had student teaching which this <laughs> is a few months before i graduated college in 2003 when i took this picture i went back and got my hair relaxed because i started to work in the school system and then I got pregnant. I was told it wasn't good to have relaxers. So then I went ahead and stopped relaxing my hair for nine months. And the last time I relaxed my hair was February 2009. Of course, at the time I didn't know, we had conceived our second out of seven children. And... With that being said, that's the last time I ended up relaxing my hair because it was packs of pampers or perms. <laughs> and of course, the kids trumpet. So pampers it was. So that was the start of my natural hair. Like indefinitely, right? So that's my opinion on Miel products. I don't know how the new products are because I kind of buy my products in bulk. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind. But from the time that I purchased it, you know, which would be, I don't know, I guess 2019 or so up until now, they've worked fine for my hair. 
and that's a little bit of a backstory on my natural hair care or my natural hair transition from being relaxed to now being natural indefinite i hope you've enjoyed this video this far and the next upcoming pictures is just a snippet of my natural hair care journey enjoy make sure to like subscribe and share good night